them. First question for Matt. First off, how how are you feeling? I, I'll go ahead and throw that out. How's things? No, I'm I'm doing great. It's uh, it's awesome to be able to look forward to 2017 in full health and um, honestly not have to worry about that. Just get rolling, get racing. Uh, that's 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 the best thing out of all of this. That's that's the best, absolutely. One in the uh, back corner. I got a couple of side by side. Wolf threw a nice block there for. Uh... Joe Manzer, uh, FoxSports.com. Uh, Matt, uh, when did did was there ever a time where you really questioned whether you'd be able to get back to this point, and uh, how much does it make you appreciate that you were able to do it? When you go through something like I did with with a brain operation or, or really any serious medical condition, um, you know, th there's times where you wonder at what point things get back to normal. I, I always had in the back of my mind that I was going to get back into racing. I was going to get back into NASCAR. So I use that as my motivation to get back. Um, now, the timing of when I got back, I had no idea. I didn't know if it was going to be a few weeks. I didn't know if it was going to be months you know, this next year, I had no idea. Uh, the only thing I knew is that the best I could do was to use every resource I had possible to re-strengthen my brain in any way I could and just try to try to get myself in a position where I could get back into a race car. So being able to look now into 2017 um, and not having to worry about that, have it completely uh, in the past and not be paranoid about that just, you know, makes everything that much, you know, it makes it that much more sweet to get to this point and, and, and look forward uh, to a great year. Next question. Kelly Morrison, NASCAR Preview and Press Guide. Uh, in studying in UNC Charlotte, how do you think your degree in business management will further your career? Yeah, you know, I, uh, at this point, because of the timing of everything that happened last year to this point, uh, I've actually taken some time off of school. But definitely the first couple of years I did there uh, was absolutely huge for being able to talk to people in boardrooms and um, strategizing with sponsors. And I, I feel like that's one of my strong suits that I've been able to capitalize on, and I will continue to do that. But, um, you know, they are a it's, a, it's a great university, and uh, I know lots of people in the NASCAR community have, have gone through UNC Charlotte, so um, it's, it was definitely a large help, and I look forward to, you know, hopefully getting back there sometime uh, when I can figure out the schedule to, to do that. Next. Greg. Hey, Matt. Uh, Greg Engel, um, cupscene.com, but I'm also a practicing neuropsychologist, so I'm kind of curious from that side. Um, have you done any cognitive exercises, and, and how was your last... Uh, how was your last checkup? Yeah, so uh, they told me to get lots of lots of uh, neurocognitive apps. So the little puzzle games and stuff. I was like, at first, I was like, oh come on, this is stupid. And then I got it. I was like, God, this is hard. <laughs> um, but it was interesting though, because especially in the beginning stages in in July and kind of the first part of August, uh, you know, there's still a bit, little bit of cloudiness and doing those games over and over and over again. Uh, you know, I see like the Lumosity commercials and you're like, does, does that really work? Uh, and then months down the road, it's like, wow, that actually I think really helped clear up my head. So uh, I did that. I did a neurocognitive exam and I'm really interested to go back in July this year, a year after to compare my results. I think that'll be pretty fascinating, but I uh, actually have a MRI and a checkup coming up, but my last ones have been great and they're just routine checkups. So, um, you know, that's, that's good to just keep it rolling and, and make sure I get checked on, but it's just, it's just protocol for that. Jacob. Jacob Seelman, Performance Motorsports Network. A uh, little bit of a different dynamic all of a sudden at JGR this year for you, Matt. Uh, the last couple years, there's been, you know, especially last year with Daniel and Eric both running full time, but this year with two rotator cars, basically, you're the guy. Does that change your mindset? Does that alter any preparation planning that you've got on your shoulders for this year? Well, first off, I just want to say I'm, I'm so proud to, to be that uh, only full-time car at Joe Gibbs Racing. Um, you know, it's, it's such a unique opportunity that I didn't, obviously I didn't think I would have that. Uh, I don't know if, if any of us saw the news from Carl Cummings. So, um, you know, Joe Gibbs Racing and, and TRD and Toyota, they gave me so many resources and uh, so many tools to use as a driver to better myself. And this, I've never had a full-time season before, so that that ability to go out and race every weekend and be consistent uh, and, and you know just getting getting that seat time every week is going to be absolutely huge for me in my career going forward. Bob. 
of Hypocrisy SPN. How often do you have to have uh, checkups? Currently every eight weeks, uh, and then after this one coming up in the next week or so, uh, hopefully it'll be extended back to maybe 10, 12 weeks. I'm not really sure, but over time it gets slower and slower. Stan. Stan Creekmore with Outside the Box. Have other members of this world reached out to you to, to show their people suffering the same issue, that recovery is, is possible? Yeah, um, that's one of the things I'm, I'm probably most proud of now is working with the American Brain Tumor Associations and other organizations for, um, you know, raising awareness and and showing people that there's a voice. Uh, I, I've talked about this in the past, but we don't really know too much about brain tumors as a society. Um, you know, you hear you hear other diseases and you think, okay, you can get cured from that, whatever. You, you go to this resource, you go to this doctor, you know what to do. Um, Brain tumors are a little bit different. There's a stigma that it's a, de a death sentence. There's a stigma that it's a very bad thing that your life is over. So I want to be an advocate of brain tumor awareness, and I want to be able to help those others in need. Um, you know, I know I had a young fan of Kentucky, and he was uh, you know, just 10 years old, and he was going through an operation in, in a few weeks. So being able to talk to those people and, and having them have an outlet to come to me uh, and, and talk with, I love that, and I want to be able to help people more with that. So um, the more I can raise awareness for it, the more I think we can uh, help find cures for it and uh, hopefully make it to where it's not, you know, it doesn't have such a bad stigma with it. Barry. Uh, Barry Richmond, Piedmont Broadcasting, WAKG. Junior talked earlier about the desire to come back versus getting cleared to come back. Talk about that desire to get back into regular competition, given that your perspective is very early in your career and Junior, you know, much further in his career at this point. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question because starting in 2016, I thought we were really riding a, a high of, of great momentum and, and things were really looking, uh, you know, to start falling into place uh, with my season there. So having been pulled out of the car, you know, my first questions were, you know, can't we just wait until November? Like, go do the surgery then, just wait. And, um, you know, you think about it for a few hours and you go, no, that's that's not possible. I got to take care of myself first and, and you know, this this part will, will take care of itself however this falls out. But, um, yeah, the, uh, the hardest part of the recovery process was just the anxiousness of when am I going to get back in the car? Um, you want every day to go out and be it, it to be normal. And, uh, you know, the hardest part for me, the first couple of weeks was just, you know, watching races on TV because, you know, I still wanted to stay active and know what was going on in the, in the racing community. But at that same time, you're like, I should be out there. I, I don't in, internally, I don't feel different, but I can't do those things right now. Luckily I'm at a point now where I'm, I'm back to being hundred percent fine. But, um, during that time period, it's like, man, I just, I want to get out there. I want to be involved uh, in racing. And it's just, it was hard to take a back seat to that. Had about one more question's worth of time. Well, we did this a couple of times yesterday. We got about 45 seconds. So you get a little bit of time off between here and the next station. That's never a bad thing with as many places as we make you all go today. Matt Tiff, thank you for joining us. Thank you, guys.